Jimmy, we asked the Soccer AM viewers to send in their questions. Mm. Ketchup in the cupboard or in the fridge? <laughs> oh, is this, this is so <laughs> random. Right, okay. I don't keep my ketchup in the fridge. Is ketchup your go-to sauce when you're having a burger or a bat? Yeah, I go ketchup and mayo combo. Brown sauce is only on a sausage roll. Question two. Out of your previous clubs, which one would you like to succeed the most? I know that's a bog standard answer, but all of them, I look out for all my. I, I tell you what, I've got a soft underline for Peterborough because it's my first club. I love Barry Fry. Is that where you found your character? Because you mm. produced some really good clips when you were at Peterborough that we've used on Soccer AM. You know curls, don't you? Jimmy, looking back at the Northampton town. <laughs> That is when I become Jimmy Bullard, if you want. And I just started believing in myself, and that's where it all started. What's your all-time favourite kit you played in? I remember when we played at Peterborough, it was all massive. We had some dodgy, it was dodgy turnout kit. Fulham was the one. It was just black and white, nice and simple. Putting on the Fulham kit was the nuts. I used to love white socks as well. When you're in a kit that you feel good in, yeah. do you play 5% better? Feel good, look good, play good. That was me. Motto. Yeah, I loved it. I, I had a little phase as well when it was on about kit. It's so embarrassing. I used to love tight shorts. <laughs> it's got those big quads you've got as well, isn't it? <laughs> no, it, but I used to feel it made me look bigger. Yeah. And I used to feel stronger. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I used to have really tight shorts. And once, little backstory for you, I missed an open goal because of the shorts. <laughs> it come over on the far side, I was at Wigan, I tried to lift my leg up and the shorts are so tight, I could only lift it. it <laughs> And I missed it, and uh, yeah, I couldn't get my leg over it. And then since that day, I went to baggy shorts. Right, silkiest player you ever played with? It's got to be like Decanio or someone like that. He used to shave his legs every morning before he went training. And then I said to him, like, Paolo, what? why are you shaving? He goes, oh, quick, speed, speed. He would have the eye shorts folded up, he'd have a small kit on dead tight, and he'd have the captain's armband wrapped in um, claret and blue tassels. <laughs> he looked like the ultimate warrior. <laughs> <laughs> coming down the and he'd have all tassels coming in. He'd yeah. and he'd, he'd look the nuts and he was the nuts. How close were you to signing for Celtic? People say you got any regrets and probably that's my biggest one. Mm. I was scared to leave the Premier League. And Neil once said, like, we'll give you the 10 jerseys as well, slung that in. That's just a like, as well, isn't it? Oh, you're killing me. Like, I've got to go. And me and my dad was bought on, but he just like just broke down a little bit yeah. as well. The training facilities are really good as well, because we've done a few drills up there. We yeah. get the drone footage back, we're like, oh, this is awesome, it what is are you doing? awesome up there. The time in my end was killer, but yeah, I, I wished I um, went there. If you could relive any moment in your career, what would it be and why? I really like that. My first goal, playing for Peterborough, that was an amazing moment. What's that feeling like when you've scored that goal and the fans are on their feet? It means everything, you know, for me as well, because I had like, I didn't break in until I was 21. So your belief sort of dwindles. Mm. You get what I mean? Your, your belief sort of dwindles and then all of a sudden I score like a goal. And it's no coincidence that, I remember that month, I had three goals in goal of the month. I just went bang, bang, bang. Yeah. And that's belief. I played on a lot of confidence. My confidence was either was unstoppable at times. I just remember the big occasions and then getting to the Premier League, yeah. as I said, playing in the Prem. Stepping out against Chelsea when Jose was there, when he first came over. And that's our first game of the season, Wigan v Chelsea. Chris Bud notches in the 89th minute, so it's so <laughs> like, oh, killer, is this going to happen every week? Um, so then moments, and then playing the cup final, and then getting in the England squad, they're like my biggest moments that I can remember. So living back all of them. Staying up for Fulham was epic. We celebrate like we won the league, mate. It was embarrassing. Jimmy, back to the questions. What is the one thing you wish you could have done as a footballer that you didn't do? There's probably a load, really. How fine a detail do you want to go down to? Just the first thing that comes to your head, to be honest, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not getting on the pitch, Fabio Capello. It's a great story, back. though, isn't it, that one? It is for you, ain't for me. Crouch, you can nudge me, he goes, do a warm up, he'll get you on. I'm stretching in front of Fabio Capello, and he's looking at me, going, what is this doing? Geezer doing some. Going, man. Didn't happen, but it was funny at the time. Bridgie and Crouch, I always remember looking over them, they were crying. On the England front then, cool. someone wants to know, <laughs> have you kept all the England training gear you got after your call yeah. up? I was big on that, keeping all my bits. Everything. Got my shirt hanging up in the pub. It's gloating and as you walk through the door, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> How much kit do you get? A couple of trackies, a couple of polos, and it was all laying on my bed when I walked in my room. But it was Beckham's room, did you know that story? 
I went in the wrong room. What? So as I walked through the corridor, I just say we're in the Grove, right? And say my room, I can't remember the room number, say it's 221. So I go in 221, like that. Can't walk, Bex is walking out the corridor. But my room was 212. He's going, hey, yeah, yeah, what are you doing? I've heard about you. I said, oh, no, what, what? no, that's my room. He goes, no, it's mine, 212, you're in 212. I went, oh, no. On your first day. First day, <laughs> skipper Bex of all people. I'm like, oh, that is so embarrassing. Best defensive midfielder you played against, the one you could never get the better of. It's, it's an evening, I always remember it, evening game. He's looking over, he said, you mark the four, and I, Danny Murphy's busy, isn't he? <laughs> Knows every play, knows everyone in the stand, let alone on the pitch. So I'm stretching. He's gone, you do the four. And I looked over, he's that eye. I'm like, oh, I'll do the four. He's got the ball off the right back. Give me an inside swizzle. That's sharp. Ten minutes later, keeper kicks. He does his cross turn in the middle of the pitch off the bounce and just turns me and then zips away from me. And I'm like, wow. Like, that doesn't happen often. Going at half time, I said, who's the four? <laughs> Goes, that's Diar, he's going Real Madrid too. <laughs> oh, that's a proper stitch up, isn't it? No, it done me like the, a kipper. Who do you think is the best summer signing for a Premier League club this season? It's weird how you just go for strikes in your head, isn't it? But Haaland, I, I like as well, obviously. Just the first game, that goal he scored, I was like, I haven't seen that before. And even the goal the other week when the ball came through and he looked over his shoulder, defenders in, he's just absolutely chucked in. Just like power and pace, modern day animal. What was Phil Brown's reaction when you famously mimicked his team talk as part of your goal celebrations for Hull City back in the day? I didn't see it as like mimicking the gaffer and, and, and like pulling the gaffer out. It was about us having a crack. It was about the players. Paul McShane actually, <laughs> this like one that. here, he was the one we was having a meal on the Friday night. I was having a pre-match with a double bolognese as I did. <laughs> And uh, McShane went, I'll tell you what we do, we should do that when, when the gaffer left us out. He said, whoever scores, does it. I'll tell you what he said, because he has called Brownie, I respected Brownie, he's cool, like, don't you, he won't push over Brownie. Like, he, he went, Jim, that do you, wouldn't it? That's enough now, boys, isn't it? I went, oh, absolutely, <laughs> Brownie. And then um, he done the interview and that squash then, and yeah. it was all pucker. And he, no, he's sweet, Brownie's sweet. Stuff like that. Yeah. Like, he, he wanted the boys to run the change. The answer to this next question could be one of many, I'm sure. What's the best prank you ever did to another footballer? Oh, mate, if you were there, like, because I like the ones where it needs some bottle to do. There ain't a lot of players that'd go there. We're in the pre-season game. <laughs> Cookies like Cookies, Chris Coleman, yep. the manager, and Steve King's here. So he's here with flip flops. I get the flip flops and I launch him in the canal. So he's looking over the canal for his boots. I've jumped over the table, full blast run, rugby tackle, Keno in the canal. This is the assistant. <laughs> I've only been there like a couple of months. But I'm going, ah, oh, he's crap. Bosh, took him straight out in the canal. I'm in the canal out. I jump out because I know he's going to give me one. Get you, hey, like Scottish accent, like proper on me. Get the canal. I give him my hand. I go, ooh, like, <laughs> don't even get him out of the canal. He's sweet as a nut, took it great. But I went, go and get your flip flops yourself, like that. <laughs> So I launch him in the canal, next morning we're in a lift together, innit? That's the awkward bit. Um, that took some balls to do, and all the players are like, Jim, that's a bit over the top. I was like, no, it's great, they love it. <laughs> Staff love it. Who was the best player for you, Pele or Maradona? Maradona. You love him, didn't you? Yeah, he's just a boy, isn't he? Don't get me wrong, Pele's class. Maradona used to run around them like they were kids. And every now and then you see Messi do that, but Maradona done it week in, week out, like make people look silly. And mm. Not even make them look silly, make them look like they're non-athletes. He must have been putting on his boots and big puma flap over things. <laughs> he must have been putting on them going, why are you even turning up, boys? You're rubbish. He must have had that moment going, you're shocking. Right, last question. <laughs> How far off would Jimmy Bullard be of the pace of a Premier League game if you were to play oh, Saturday? Are you mad? How far off the pace would you Probably be? Get M -O -M. You'd get M-O-M. You'd get M-O-M? No, I'm only joking. Can't do it on the Bom bench, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Your fitness is the killer, isn't it? Yeah. You can talk, especially now, today's game, pressing and this and that and energy and everyone's got fitter, quicker, stronger. So, yeah, a long way. A long way. I only just made the pace when I was <laughs> struggled week in, week out. And my game as well, my attribute was energy. Mm. That's one thing that I'd struggle with, but never quick, never massively strong. But 
Yeah, I've still got a touch. Like, that never leaves you. Like, still out there, don't get me wrong, it ain't as cute as what it was, but your touch is there, it's like riding a bike, and you strike a ball, and it's all, it's there. But you, once your legs go and your energy goes in, you just lose, it, it vanishes quicker. Jim, <laughs> had a good crack, didn't you've we? You've been absolutely I didn't know legend. About that. Is there anything you want to say to the people that asked you all the questions? Uh, no, thank you. Enjoy them. Keep them coming. This is going to be the last time I do it. No, nah, we'll do it again, mate. For we'll sure. We'll do it again, and um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you later.